Good afternoon. Good morning for some, good evening for others. This live, as we make our way around this region of the country, we're going to historical sites that are very dear to our hearts. And very few others can compare to where we are now. I'm speaking to you from the top of Kindy Tower, the legendary and fabled tower of Vlad Sepish. This is his princely palace. The princely palace area, the complex, um, that was really almost, well, not forgotten about, but it was buried through over the ages by a lot of earth, a lot of dirt. And the only thing that remained in the 1800s, especially the early 1800s, was this tower that I'm standing on right now. And let me go to a reverse view. The top of the tower is as it was when Vlad Sepish constructed it. There are many flights of steps that it takes to reach up here. The princely palace complex, all of what you see below, throughout the 1800s, 1700s, 1600s, this was all buried with ages of earth and dirt. Sometime in the 1800s, it was decided to excavate and over time, they revealed what you're looking at now. These are the remains of the princely palace of Vlad Sepish. You can see them here, the court center, living area. Down below here, where my, I'm pointing, this is the entrance to the catacomb complex down below. Underneath this are catacombs. The prison cell areas are over here. You can tour them today and walk through. There are oubliettes where they would throw prisoners to die, inevitably. There's an oubliette here, there's another oubliette here, oubliettes here, and there's a well down there. There's an oubliette down here. You can see the blackness of it, where they would throw prisoners in there that were doomed. They wouldn't feed them. They didn't get bread and water. They simply would die. Sometime much later, a church was constructed with that you're looking at there, Besetica, as they're called here in Romania. A gate leading in to the princely palace is still there. All of what you see below is the princely palace. You know, today, if you're especially sensitive, if you go down into the catacomb complex, and even here, this whole area was known for being very paranormally active. Down here, this area, that you're looking at now. That area is legendary for being one of the spots where Vlad Sepish would impale people. Prisoners, Turks, criminals, murderers. Up beyond, you see an area where troops would garrison all here troops would garrison there also. So, as other people are coming up, I'm going to walk you around. You can see in the distance the Carpathian mountain range. There. Back when this tower and this princely palace complex was under siege by the Turks, that's where they came from, the south they came up. One of the reasons they chose this spot, no doubt, is because of its incredible view. Any oppressors, any army, anybody coming to threaten this area could easily be seen 
down below here you see more the foundation areas of more remains they keep uncovering them charting them and they keep mapping the complex area it really is an interesting place to come visit so as we look around Romania we keep showing you these places this is the princely palace and after a tiring hike up the tower we're gonna go back down and we're gonna get a bite to eat so we'll be back thank you for joining us have a wonderful evening